Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. In today's video, I finally did a mod that I'm pretty sure a lot of you have been waiting for for a long time on this channel, and that is I swapped out my grill on my 2019 TRD off-road Tacoma. Now I've been putting this off because to be quite honest, I actually didn't mind the stock grill for a long time, even though a lot of people say it looks like a cheese grater. So I just couldn't really justify swapping it out for a while until this new OEM Toyota grill came out and I really liked. I know a lot of people probably think that the grill I swapped to is a TRD Pro Heritage grill, but to those of you guys who think it, I'm sorry, that is not the grill I switched to. The grill I went with is actually a 2020 and up TRD Sport or TRD Off-Road OEM grill, which is basically just the updated version of the grill I currently have. I just love the look of this one personally. I think it enhances the look of my truck and that's why I decided to go for it. Later in this video, I'm gonna talk more about why I went with this grill instead of the TRD Pro grill, but basically installing any third gen grill is really, really easy. It took me less than an hour even with filming and I'm gonna get into all the details of exactly how I did it and trust me guys, if I can do it, then you can too. Before I get into the install, I wanna give a quick shout out to Manny who I actually got this grill from. He has a 2021 TRD Sport and this grill was a takeoff from his truck, so it's a pretty new grill. So thank you, Manny, I'm super happy to have it. So without further ado, let's get into this video about how to install this grill and more details about it. So while I've never actually done a grill swap on a Tacoma before, I think it's going to be relatively simple. Here's everything I think we're going to need. First off, I have a 10 millimeter socket. We're also gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver, some needle nose pliers, and a flat head. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is start in the truck and we're gonna pull this latch here to pop the hood. And then basically what you wanna do is feel around until you feel a latch. Pull that latch to the left and lift the hood up, pull the rod and secure the hood in place. So when we take this off of the truck, what we're actually doing is removing the grill and this color matched surround piece to whatever the color of your truck is. It's gonna be fairly simple. There are not too many things holding the grill in. It's just these two 10 millimeter bolts, which I've already loosened, this little push pin here, and the wiring harness. And this wiring harness is basically for the TSS sensor if you have a 2018 and up Tacoma. So to remove this wiring harness, what you're gonna do is reach down and there's a little tab that you're gonna have to press on pretty hard and then you should be able to easily pull it out. And that's all you need to pull out for now. This pin that's right down here isn't gonna come up. You're actually gonna have to push it down and this is what you're gonna use some needle nose pliers for. And then I forgot to mention, but right here next to both of the headlights, you're gonna have to remove these plastic pins and you're just gonna do this with a flat head. So those are literally all the bolts and pieces that you need to remove from the grill before we take off the grill and the surround piece. All we have to do now is take the grill kind of move some of the hardware up and it'll just pop off with a little bit of force. All right, so now we're in the bed of my truck. We have the new grill over there and the back of the old grill, the surround and the sensor over here. And basically what we need to do is remove the actual grill from the surround and remove the sensor from it so we can put it and basically make this set up the exact same but with that grill. This old grill is secured onto the surround piece by a bunch of these little plastic tabs that go all the way around and also a couple of screws. So we're gonna unscrew it first, then try to undo the tabs and take off the grill. So the next part, after you have all the screws removed around the outside over here, you need to actually fit these tabs through their slots. It's a little bit tricky trying to push them through, but once you get a couple started, which I did off camera, you're kind of able to see separate the grill from this piece. I kind of learned that using a flathead to push these tabs in kind of helps when you're trying to separate the grill. If I'm being honest, it took a lot of force to push these tabs through, but basically once I got it through, I pushed out the grill the best I could and I have it partially detached right now and we're gonna try to detach the whole thing. All 
All right, and now the surround piece is mostly detached from the grill itself. The grill actually on these 2018 and 2019s come off in two piece. They have a surround themselves and then there's the actual grill. But as you can see, the sensor is still attached to the surround piece that's color matched on the back here. So we're gonna have to remove the sensor from this grill. So with the grill separated, you can see the sensor wire coming up here and it's actually zip tied behind the surround piece here. And I'm not sure if you can see, but there is a little pin that we're going to have to push through. So I'm gonna use my needle nose pliers to push that through to remove the sensor. And then the last part that the wiring harness is attached to is up here on the surround piece. So we're gonna remove that. This unit right here is my TSS sensor and this foam piece right here is actually new to my truck. It got put on recently during my fuel pump recall service because if you guys didn't know, I'm not sure what years it occurred in, but for certain years with the TSS sensor, there were issues with water leaking. So their solution was to put this foam with sticker on the back to prevent water from coming in. So obviously I'm going to have to peel that back. Now removing that foam piece exposes this screw, this and this, which we're gonna have to take off to remove the sensor. All right, so now the sensor itself can completely come off. As you can see, the wiring is still attached to the garnish, so we're gonna have to remove the garnish. And to do that, it looks like there are four tabs that the garnish attaches to. So we're gonna take that off. Okay, so after trial and error, the best way to actually remove these is not by removing the garnish. I had to go watch Jesse Rizzo's video on how he changed his grill to a TRD Pro grill. So thank you, Jesse. But basically what you wanna do is take a flathead, and I've loosened these up a lot, but they should pop off. Now, the entire sensor will come off. The last two things we need from this grill are these two disc pieces. So that's it, and now we don't need this grill anymore. I wanted to show you guys a quick comparison of these two grills, just kind of close up. Obviously, it's just gonna come down to preference, but as you can see on the older Tacoma models, the finish you get on this grill is kind of a glossy black and what you get here is more of a composite dark gray so if you look up close it's not really black it's kind of matte dark silver or dark gray and then obviously the pattern's a little bit different i think this one's a little bit more sleeker which is why i'm going with it the nice thing i like about my grill swap and one of the big reasons i actually picked this grill is because as you can see the garnish location is the exact same for both grills if you were to get a trd pro grill with the garnish area the sensor is actually moved closer to down here so you have to move the sensor location so you have to be a little bit cognizant of how you mount the sensor i've heard people actually have to put washers to to angle the sensor upward since your sensor is already calibrated to be higher up. So keep that in mind if you get a TRD Pro grill. Also, I know right now OEM TRD Pro grills are pretty expensive, but you can get an aftermarket one for an affordable price. Built NKO is a great site to get an aftermarket one that looks just like the original OEM. They even sell garnishes too, and they're at an affordable price. And I know they have lots of different really cool ones with Raptor lights and other designs too. So go check them out. I'll have their link down in the description down below. Now we're gonna transfer the sensor and all the other hardware onto that grill. I'm gonna try to remember to do everything in the exact reverse order that I did. So first we're gonna take these little discs and slide them in. Now we're gonna take our garnish and put it in place. We're gonna take our screws and tighten them down. Now, different on this 2020 grill, there's only one hole for you to put these little clips that hold the wire in place. I'm just gonna choose one of them and I'm gonna pop it in place just like that. And now we're ready to put the surround around the grill. So now with the surround piece, we're going to just pop the grill back in place. That was much easier than taking the tabs out. To secure it down, we're gonna put the same screws back in place. Now I'm gonna put the new grill and surround back in place. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing we did before, but in reverse. So we're going to 
pop the sensor clip back in and then plug the sensor back in. Then we're gonna pop in our plastic tabs. Our two 10 millimeter screws. And that's all there is to it. So it seems like it's in pretty securely, but it's nighttime right now. So I'm gonna check in with you guys in the morning for me so that I can show you more shots of the grill and more details. Hey guys, so I went on a test drive with this grill and I'm very happy to say that everything, including the sensor functionality, seemed to work perfectly. There's basically two ways that I could think of to test the sensor. The first way was activating cruise control and seeing if the truck would slow down when there was another car in front of me. And to my delight, it did with multiple tests, so I'm pretty happy about that. And the second way I could think of was rushing up to a car and seeing if the truck would come to a complete stop. But this is a little bit dangerous since you're testing something and you're not sure if it'll work so I didn't really want to test my luck with that. With the cruise control working, I'm pretty confident that the sensor works. Another thing I've learned from working on the Salvage TRD Pro that I'm rebuilding all on this channel is that when there's a malfunction with the sensor or the radar, you'll actually get a message on your dash that says there's a sensor malfunction and it'll tell you to like take it to your dealership and I wasn't getting any messages like that. I was getting what I normally get. So overall, I'm confident that this has worked. If you guys like mod videos for Tacomas, feel free to hit that subscribe button i have a lot more mods coming up including upgrading my suspension and if you want to get a hint about what suspension i'm going with feel free to click on the community tab here on my youtube channel i'll be posting a video about that really really soon i'm also getting new rock sliders and a big interior mod if you want to connect more with me you can follow me on my instagram i am at chloe kuotako otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys